Hello, successful Sumi here, and I want to show you very quickly how to make money making um, application that uh, phone app for people, and these are few steps to take. Okay, but let's start by finding out. When you want to make app for people and you go to Fiverr, you will see a lot of people saying, I'll convert your website to app and $5, I'll convert these $10. And then the truth is that by the time you click on the inner part of what they are going to do for you, you will actually see that they are charging a lot, like this guy now you will see that when you click on what he wants to do for you one operating system and it's charging 350 and if you click on the standard it's charging 750 and if you click on his premium it's charging 995 dollars and that's you know that's almost um that's almost like a a thousand dollars for you to have that app so um Quite a number of people will tell you and see it will take him 29 days to deliver and it is one operating system. A lot of people will tell you that um, they are going to make up for you and then they are going to charge you some money. It can be very expensive, right? But I want to show you a simple way that can help you to make some money. Now, let's go. If you come over here, this is called App Gazer. App Gazer. Now, when you come to App Gazer, in App Gazer, you will create an app. Okay, so we want to create an app for this radio. This is an online radio. It's called Lift Up Radio. Okay, liftupradio.com. You see now that if I play something on the player of Lift Up Radio, it's going to play. <laughs> So you can see that Lift Up Radio is playing. So we want to convert this particular radio station or any website of your choice, you can convert it to an app. Okay, so this is the way to do it. So you go to um, App Giza and you say Create App. And when I click on Create App, I will come here and say Start. When I come to the Start now, I will go to the website and click on it. And when I click on that, the next thing I want to do is that I will see website URL here. So I'll come over here and copy the website URL. So Control A, Control C, and I come here to say Control V. The moment I paste it there, I save. And when I save, I can then I'm waiting for that to come up, really. Now, I have saved that now, and let me preview my app. How it's going to look like on the phone. And so, when you look at my app, you see that it's looking exactly like that website. And I can scroll down here, and you can see the whole of the app here. You would have been so, packing your load gradually. So you see that my app is already playing on the phone. That's a test. And that's how your app is going to be. Right? 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 So I now want to go ahead and put all the colors that are needed. But because I'm doing you some example here, let me just go straight. So I click on next. After clicking on next, it says, what's the name of my app? So I can change the name of my app to something like this. I can call it lift up. I can say the name of my heart is Lift Up um, Radio. Okay. The name of my heart is Lift Up Radio. That's the name of my app. So I say next. And then it's asking me what image do I want people to be seen on their phone if they have my app. So I will go to custom image. He said I should upload 512 by 512 pixels. So I click on that. And when I click on that, it takes me to where I have the image. And I already have the image here. So I click on it, 512 by 512. And once I put that, I crop it. I click on Next. And when I click on Next, they ask me, create the app. So I click Create the app. And when I click on Create the app, it said I should sign in. Okay, so let me sign in with my mail. So when I try to sign it with my mail, it brought several ones. So let me sign it with one of my Gmail. 
So I sign it with my Gmail, and the moment I sign in with my Gmail, you see that that one disappear. And the moment I did that, um, you will see that I can now come, okay? You see that it automatically changes here, okay? So my app has been created. Now, um, that's if you now want to do the plan. So you can see my app here. Now you can see my APK here, so I can click on download. So as it is now, I can have my app is downloaded and you can see my app APK is building. What is APK? That's what you are going to submit to Google so that your app will be appearing on Google Play Store. That's what you are going to submit. Okay, so look at it. If you want to have your app on your phone, you will go to your phone and you will turn off that device that you will go to your Google Play Store your Google Play Store. So you go to Google Play Store on your phone now. You know me, I'm you know I'm using the laptop. So you go to your phone now and you will come here and say scan 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 QR scan QR and that if you search for that, you will see many apps like this, okay? So you see a lot of this barcode app. So you can pick this one that does not have adverts or pick the first one. So once you download this on your phone, you bring it close to this place, the app will come to your phone automatically, okay? Or you take this link, you send it to your phone and use it to download. When you are downloading the app on your phone, it will tell you, this app can help arm your phone. Do you still want to continue? Just say yes. The app cannot arm your phone. So, so you can do anybody's website, anybody's, any website at all. Anybody website that wants an app for it, you can do it. So you will download this one here. Once you download, you click on download this one here. Um, is the APK. And then the next thing you want to do so that your app can be coming out on Google Play Store is that you can come to publish. And when you come to publish here, you will see where you are going to be able to submit your phone um, app to Google. So let me click on this and take you through that very fast. Now, the first thing you need is a Google Play account. A Google Play account, you will visit Google Play Developer Console sign up. You pay $25 one time fee, which is the registration fee. And once you pay that, the next thing is that you fill in your account details, you verify your identity. And once you verify your identity, they will, it will take them like 48 hours to do that and confirm for you. Okay, so it will take them like 48 hours to confirm for you. After they've confirmed for you, the next thing is that you create your application. So once you create your application, you will come here and uh, you will go inside like this. Um, I will have shown you my account because I used to make app, okay, for people. So when you go in like this, you will click on... Um, you will see the account like this where you are going to put um, English. You will choose the language, of course, it's English, and then you will start, put the name, the title of your app. You will put it here and you will click on create. Okay. Once you do that, you write short description. What's this app all about? You write it there. Once you are done with that, you write the long description of what the app is all about. Then you will go and take a screenshot of where the app is on your phone screenshot i'm sure you know the meaning of screenshot of where the app is on your phone like two or three or four just like you have here that's what they call splash screen and then you put it here okay so once you upload the, this here the next thing you want to do is that you will now come over here and fill out all of these details application type you fill it out um once you do that category you put it out and then you will go to content rating that place is a very critical place they'll be asking you 
um is this app for children you don't ever say it's for children pick age 18 upwards so that you won't have to go through a lot of stress on if the app is for children you have to go through a lot of stress okay you can save the draft and publish later but you can also continue then the next thing is that your app content you click on app release okay once you click on that it will show here then the next thing is your app content you have to put it if you want to collect money for your app you also um you also make that known as well okay so after you have done that the next thing you want to do is that apk i told you you will come and put your apk okay um you manage your app release put your apk up and once you do that the next thing you want to do is um, you want to make sure that um, you put pricing that's if you have pricing but if you don't have pricing um, because you can be making money with your app so um, you come here and confirm all you have placed into that particular position and once you are done with that of course you will review once you are done with that you can confirm and your app will be published um it used to be three days before but now it's like seven days okay i think it's like seven days okay so now um on a more serious note let me come here and click on this this is how the uh, google play console looks like and then you can sign into your account and begin to do whatever you want to do so you can see this this is my own account. I already have an account here. And you see, I've fulfilled all of these. I've submitted for an app. I'm waiting for a particular app. complete registration. And then you have a whole lot of other stuff like that. So this is where you will submit your app. Once your app is approved, the next thing is by seven days or thereabout, you can see that I'm still expecting some app here your app will be available on google play store and everybody will be able to download your app and see even if it is ordinary um converting it to um to to app and getting apk you know how to do you can still make as much as 350. look at this guy one operating system one app icon splash screen those are the things i've shown you you will just convert it that thing i just showed you now i converted that radio app and then you make the app icon just that 512 and 512 and splash screen that is your um that is your screen now i mean you can imagine and you go home with 350 okay on that note i have to go right now that's how you can make um 350 dollars making app for people even when you don't know anything about internet and i'm going to close on that till i come your way next time i'm successful some and i'm saying remain financially intelligent